As Jeff was mentioning, one of the hardest hit places, White County. According to Entergy, roughly 1,600 people in White County alone are without power. Of course, that area taking a, a pretty good hit. Higginson was one place that suffered a lot of damage, but less than six miles away is another place called Kensit. Roughly 1,600 people there are now in cleanup mode after taking a hit. Fox 16's Jesse Tenor has more. Jesse. Yeah, Kevin, when we were driving to Kensett, even starting to drive through town, we were wondering where is the damage? We just as you drive through town, it doesn't look like anything happened. Well, right off Plateau and Cherry, look what we found. This huge tree fell on a house, and we're told that the two homeowners, not home, apparently they're out of town. That's what neighbors have told us. You can't see this right now, but the roof is essentially completely blown off. Um, the, balc the little front porch area here, the tree fell on that and crushed it. Um, police were here earlier, and they were telling us to not get too much more close to the house because they were worried about our safety. Um, this is actually one of four houses that have this kind of damage. That's according to John Pollard, the police chief. And um, right across the way, the reason why we're not over there is because it's pretty dark, but a trailer was actually leveled while an older woman was inside. And police were saying that she was very lucky. She was taken to the hospital with a possible broken an arm and broken nose, and so they were very thankful that she's probably going to be okay. There is about one other injury that the chief mentioned. Um, somebody broke an arm, I think, in during some of the storm. He was also saying that um, other parts of pretty much every part of Kensett got some sort of damage from this storm. So the Kensett Cemetery is damaged pretty badly. A lot of down power lines in the area, trees are down, and a lot of headstones actually damaged. And they were saying that around town, please be careful. Um, we were talking to some other neighbors who have come out here to help out. They actually came up to this house to make sure that no one was in here. They're across the way, making sure everybody's okay over there. And they're saying for every other community that wasn't hit tonight to do this? Um, just prayer, really. I mean, that's the, you know, prayer is pretty powerful. You know, that's what we need right now for this little community. And again, this is one of four houses that have this sort of damage here in Kensington. Two injuries, and police are still out, and they expect to be out for the rest of the night into the early morning, checking on damaged homes, making sure people are okay. And when I was talking to the chief, he was even saying, you know, the reason why you're here, the reason why we're here is to not draw attention to places like this. He was saying that. I know that, you know, citizens are curious, but it's just dangerous to have people drive by and look at this. So he says if there's anything that he can tell people at home, please just stay at home where you are safe. We are live in Kensit. I'm Jesse Tenor. All right, Jesse, thank you very much. Appreciate the update. Glad to hear that no one was seriously injured. Uh, but we'll continue to monitor the situation there. Now, Higginson and Kensett received most of the damages. As I mentioned, several homes were destroyed. There are between 10 and 15 people injured, several trees and power lines down throughout the county, and there is a shelter that has been set up by Red Cross. It's set up in Searcy, and it's located at the United Methodist Church. Well, the story